Hello viewers, I just wanted to make a quick video because I'm nearing the end of my European journey. It's been a really interesting time, most of it spent in Belgium with my friend Patrick Hack and uh, you'll already have seen the video with um, his son-in-law, future son-in-law Matthias uh, Wouters, but we've done some really interesting events in Amsterdam and Ghent where we've had showings of Truth Be Told. I'm now in Zurich and uh, last night I had a really interesting time at a local college where I was uh, basically giving a presentation to psychologists and teachers who had either students or clients who were Jehovah's Witnesses and were really struggling with how to cope with these people who are indoctrinated, including children who are indoctrinated and, and suffering from serious um, depression, some of, whom, some of whom are suicidal and wanting to kind of explore more fully the mindset of Jehovah's Witnesses and learn more about what it means to be a Jehovah's Witness and, and what issues Jehovah's Witnesses are contending with. So I found it really invigorating to be speaking to people who care enough about their students or clients who are JWs to take time out of their schedule and spend an evening you know, interviewing me and learning more about what it means to be a Jehovah's Witness. So it was a really humbling experience and I really enjoyed doing it and I hope I get more opportunities to do it. Um, so um, tonight we're going to do one more showing of Truth Be Told here in Zurich. So I'm really looking forward to that. But I just wanted to let you all know what's happening and we'll be back home in a couple of days time and hopefully I'll pick up with my articles and videos. So until then, thank you for watching. my life was spent basically doing what I felt like I had to do to please everyone else. Several years later that I could look back and I could really I realized that um, growing up in this environment had actually affected me. It had affected the way the, the relationships I had with my friend. You know I had it in my mind that I, at some point I needed to leave but I just I felt completely trapped and I became severely depressed, withdrawn and I actually attempted suicide because I felt like that was my only out. Part of the reason that we had such problems were because I didn't realize how growing up, growing up as a witness affected me in personal relationships.